marketing. So as me and Brandon Sean said, you always want to conceptualize on something that is going to capture the eye um, using certain colors. Um, Canva is great for making flyers. Um, a lot of people do use those apps and things that can be on the phone, but definitely make sure your visuals look clean. You always want to make sure it's clean. Make sure you have the address on there if it is a public event. Make sure you have the date. It's the little things that can cause people to not go to your event. Because <laughs> yeah, somebody will find a flyer and it's like, okay, but it has no address. It has no yeah, time okay. on it. So what? Yeah. So it has no date. Like, did this pass already? Like, <laughs> yeah. so no, definitely important things to put on the flyer. Um, I say for like, the average time to promote an event for a newer person may be like, I would say maybe three to four weeks. What do you think? What do you think, Sean? Yeah. No, I would say three to four weeks in, in this age. If you're, if it's just like a, if you're trying to do like a hundred people, it's probably about three to four weeks. If you're trying to really push and make it something bigger and especially get deeper, deeper into selling the experience, then it might need to be something something bigger than that like but most people need to start off with those three to four weeks mm -hmm. and now rely you, rely back on that word of mouth part like that's yeah. like you have to make people i i, I want to say this real quick because like um the way i found dj also was her flyer because we talk about marketing right mm -hmm. she had that flyer where it was like the girls in the car and it said announced that and they were and, and they were i was like yo this ad is hard as fuck. yes i was like video. who i commented on the on because it was one of um like this other chick i know i was like yo who did this shit and she was like her and i was like oh man yeah, i gotta follow her because this junk this junk is just hard so that alone like people pay attention to the quality and your creative approach and your marketing and then you bring that same energy to the actual experience but learning that she's a dj too though I feel like she has an advantage because you, obviously you're talking to a lot of artists. The part where a lot of artists mess up, this is where I had the advantage too when it comes to uh, it came to like throwing events over a lot of my artist friends it's because artists always try to make the shit about them versus yeah. just creating an experience where everybody else has a great time, not yeah. realizing that you can make them have a great time. They're going to just keep coming back to you off of that strength. They're going to want to be around you but artists like oh no i just want everything centered around me and the stage and they focus too much on that side of it yeah man i'm yeah, gonna just that's, uh, that's... <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> like that for real for real like especially if you aren't even strong in the show game so make it about the the, the fan how can you make them have an amazing experience regardless of you being there and then how do you integrate your goals and your your project or your narrative into a dope experience? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for breaking that down. Like I always say with the marketing, when it comes to an event, especially for a newer artist, you wanna treat your marketing uh, with that three to four weeks, man, you wanna treat it like a project rollout. Like think of it mm -hmm. as you're rolling out a single, you're rolling out your EP, you're rolling out an album, a mixtape. Um, so pretty much you have, you know, you announce it and then every week is something else added on and something else being added on and something else being added on. Like some people, okay, so the first week it may be a giveaway being done, you know, so we can get some more followers so we can get more people looking or paying attention to the event. Next, you may announce like the special guests or the lineup, you know, and stuff like that. Um, then the following week of, you know, you may offer like, um, you may offer a giveaway, you know, for some merch or something like that, you know, for people that purchase a ticket, um, as it gets nearer and nearer. Cause people, a lot of people really purchase tickets as it gets closer to the event. Like I've noticed from me doing events, cause it might scare you, you know, when you first yeah. announce it. Oh, <laughs> people realize, okay, what's the move? What's the move when it's like a day or two before the event? And that's when ticket sales will shoot up like that. Mm -hmm. So that's just my experience. Um, and then even if you want to do something like, you know, giving a discount, rolling out a discount code, um, certain things. So you kind of have to build up that anticipation really for people to buy and for people to say, hey, I got to be there. So to DJ Oso's case, um, she, I remember, you know, before she's dropped the flyer, she's dropped her promo video, um, she's announced like some special guests, you know, coming through and stuff like that. So it, it just builds on top of that anticipation, like, 
all right, boom, like I gotta be there. Um, and then whatever you do, as far as like your different announcements and your different rollout, make sure it all has the same colors, like the colors that you do use in your fire or your branding, make sure they all have the same colors, make sure they all have the same aesthetic, make sure they all give out the same vibe. Um, so that's pretty much just a couple of things to pay attention with the marketing.